In this series, we're going to focus on our new approach to 1v1, which is one section of our perimeter player development. We're going to introduce our new 1v1 moves pyramid. This has three parts. Number one, changes of direction. Number two, stops and starts. Number three, feints. In many of these drills and games, coaches can help the players understand where and when to make these moves. And while we don't have all the answers, we're going to suggest to you where these moves work best, which part of the field, when to use them. This we call our how, where, when approach. The how is the skill. The where is which part of the field, and the when is the position of the opponent. Is the opponent in front, to the side, or behind? In curve coaching, we teach all the skills, especially the moves, in what we call a step-by-step -step approach. Step one, no pressure. This is just repetition, learning the technique through constant repetition. Step two, limited pressure. This is when the opponent is more helper, not an opponent. The opponent does not try to tackle, but there is pressure. And finally, the third part is full pressure, when there's 100% tackling. Step-by-step -step teaching is a very good way to improve both beginner players and advanced. Players who have good 1v1 skills can often make a difference in the game. They can create goal chances for themselves or their teammates. The 1v1 drills in this series can also help players develop speed, stamina, strength. Confidence is also very important in soccer and 1v1 is a wonderful way to improve confidence. Above all, 1v1 is great fun. Move set A, changes of direction. Useful across the goal. The first of these change of direction moves is the inside cut, one of the most common moves in the game. Reach and cut with the ankle. Shield and accelerate away. Reach, cut, shield, accelerate away. These young players practice the same technique in each other without pressure. The same actions. Reach, cut, block, away. Reach, cut, block, away. Outside cut. This is a variation of the inside cut. The same idea. Reach, cut, block and turn. Reach, cut, block, accelerate away. Now the girls. The same, reach, cut, block, accelerate. The body shielding the ball throughout. Reach, cut, block, accelerate. For young players, the outside cut can be intimidating and take more nerve to reach as far as possible and save ground. Cuts come up in play so often in the game, they can't be practiced enough. Another variation, the slap cut. Fake to strike, but roll the foot over the ball and take away with the outside of the kicking foot. So it's roll, turn and block, take away. 
Roll, turn and block, take away. Still limited pressure, the opponent still acting as helper. Fake to strike, block, take away. Another variation, the double cut. Outside cut, inside cut. Outside, inside. Minimum steps between. The twist off, an extension of the inside cut. The turn shields the ball. Cut, turn, accelerate. Set B, move useful along the wings, the hook turn, like the inside cut only hook behind the standing leg, fake to strike, hook, shield, accelerate away, still minimum pressure. A light flick makes for a faster turn. Who can turn and move away? Useful along the wings or in the middle of the field. The U-turn. Fake to strike the ball, but turn it with the front part of the sole while pivoting to change direction. Flick and pivot, take away. Still minimum pressure. Pivot and pull with the toe part of the sole. In this exercise, the turn shields the ball when the opponent is in front. Sole, pivot. Useful in the middle of the field. The U-turn step over. A useful double move. Pivot and turn as if to go one way, but step over the ball and go in the opposite direction. Pivot, step over, push and accelerate. Pull push behind. Pull with the sole, tap behind the standing leg and take with the outside of the standing foot. Pull, tap, push, accelerate. Slap, step on. Slap across the body, step on with the opposite foot and take away. Slap, step on, take away. These are among the most effective change of direction moves. They are used constantly in the game. All of them can be very effective, especially if you have developed good flexibility and touch in the ball mash.